The Justice League still has yet to be seen on the big screen, and while we haven't seen that much of the other members beyond Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman, we did get a glimpse of Ezra Miller's Flash in the 2016 film Suicide Squad. We barely got a full-fledged action scene, and the short clip that ended up in the final cut only lasted for 10 seconds. So yeah, this is probably gonna be a short video based on that runtime. But keep in mind, this is just the beginning of Ezra Miller's Flash. He will probably exceed new limits and reach new milestones in the upcoming Justice League film, and his very own standalone film. But anyways, here it is. How fast is... The Flash in Suicide Squad? So in the latest installment of the DC Extended Universe, before he could leave the bank he just robbed, Captain Boomerang is abruptly stopped by Ezra Miller's The Flash. He gives him this look of utter astonishment and is then quickly knocked out by the speedster. To figure this stuff out, we need to know a few variables. Specifically, for the speed equation, distance and time. We need to know a certain distance The Flash ran and the time it took The Flash to run said distance. And to do that, we have to do some scaling with the visual images we are given. The distance this Barry Allen ran can be found by using the ground as a reference. Notice his foot placement here. It's actually conveniently placed parallel to the top and bottom square tile lines and perpendicular to the side lines. It doesn't exactly cover the whole length of the tile. It looks to be about three fourths of the length of one of the tile sides. So the question is, how big is the Flash's foot? Well, Ezra Miller supposedly wears a size 13 and a half shoe size in US measurements. But judging by how his heel isn't exactly on the line here, and how he's wearing metal plating instead of regular shoes, let's just round that off and say that the outside of this shoe is about a size 14 shoe size in US measurements. A shoe size this big is about 11.875 inches long, or 0.302 meters long. So we can plug that into our known data before, which was the length of 3 fourths of the tile is equal to Ezra Miller's shoe size. After plugging the converted shoe size in, we are left with 3 fourths of a tile being equal to 11.875 inches. This means that one tile is 15.833 inches long. In this camera angle shot, we see that Captain Boomerang's partner was knocked out about 4 or 5 tiles away from the vault door. Then we see Boomerang pick up his belongings and continue to walk about 3 more tiles away. Meaning that at that point in time, he was 8 tiles away from the vault door. However, we didn't take into account the camera's perspective. In the first shot we showed, we only counted the somewhat visible tiles in sight meaning we did not take into account the tiles closer to him that's below the camera shot. At this angle, there'd most likely be an extra tile or two, let's just say two for argument's sake, leaving us with a total distance of 10 tiles away from the vault door. The reason why I keep bringing up the vault door is because that's where the Flash's initial starting position was. He was in front of the vault door before he started his run to Captain Boomerang, which we now know is about 10 tile lengths. That's 13.19 feet, or 4.02 meters. And slowing down the footage, the time it took for him to travel that distance was 0.32 seconds. This means that the flash in this particular scene ran at a whopping speed of... 28.1 miles per hour. Not gonna lie, that was a little anticlimactic. It shouldn't really have been expected for the flash to really run any faster than 50 miles per hour. I mean, he was just trying to incapacitate Captain Boomerang so that he could have him arrested. If he ran any faster than that, then he could have killed him. You see, LifeScience.com reports that professional boxers exert a force of around 5,000 newtons. And that's no joke. People actually get knocked out cold from that striking force in the ring. But Ezra Miller's flash at this speed, 28.1 miles per hour, not taking into account the extra added weight his metallic suit puts on him, would exert a force of over 27,000 newtons, over five times more powerful than a normal knockout punch. It may seem like he's running a lot faster than, even say, 100 miles per hour, but that's because of the angle we are shown from and his acceleration rate. His acceleration from 0 to 28 miles per hour was almost instantaneous. And notice how he seemingly gets faster as he gets closer. This is because closer objects occupy more of your field of vision, making their image traverse across your retina for a longer length and thus seemingly appearing faster than other moving objects around. Had the camera been placed at another angle, say maybe a side view of the flash running, at a farther distance away, then maybe he may have looked slower than what we actually saw in the movie. It's like how when you're on a train and you look outside the window, the train tracks nearby would appear like a huge blur, whereas the distant trees would be relatively more clearer. This, combined with the fact that he went from a standstill position to the speed of a moving automobile in a fraction of a second, makes it so that we think that he's moving much faster. But still, this 28 miles per hour, or 45 kilometers per hour, thing is most definitely nowhere near his top speed. The Flash held back his velocity to make sure that Boomerang survived the force of impact. I mean, I'd hope so. And you gotta keep in mind, with Justice League yet to debut this year, this is just the beginning for this version of the Flash. He's barely had any screen time in the DCEU, so saying that he's much, much slower than both of the on-screen Quicksilvers, Aaron Taylor Johnson's and Evan Peters, is a little unfair because it's too early. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I honestly appreciate every single one of you guys who keep enjoying my videos. If you truly like this video, then please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Also, consider following me on my Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter accounts. And for more of my videos, just click right here.